Can Alzheimer's disease be reversed or stopped if caught early enough? Ooh, the R word. The R word is not a word that I use personally. Reverse to me is a word that I believe is not ready to be used for prime time yet, and I'm gonna explain why. I believe that Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder, a brain condition that develops over decades. And if I am treating a person to reduce their risk factors or treating a person and they improve, well, that's great. They may be symptomatically better, their symptoms may be better, or their progression may be slowed. I think that's really the goal to slow progression. If you want to talk about a baseball analogy, a grand slam is someone that improves. A home run is if we can stabilize. And I think that's key, but even a double or a triple slowing progression is certainly important. To me, I don't exactly know what the word reverse means. If I'm improving symptoms, if I'm showing biological effects, so someone's improving their symptoms, their amyloid, the bad sticky protein in the brain of a person with Alzheimer's, their amyloid is either uh, slowed in terms of progression or improved. We've seen this in our cohort. We're presenting some really amazing work at the Alzheimer's Association International Meeting next month, where we've actually shown improvements in tau protein, improvements in amyloid protein, and even normalization of these markers and people that previous had worrisome blood testing markers and then their cognition improved and their blood testing improved. And that's really exciting. Am I reversing? Am I treating? Am I improving? To me, I want to stay conservative. The motto that I often say is promise not to overpromise. I think when it comes to Alzheimer's disease, this is a terrible disease. There's so much suffering and I hate it. I just want to be conservative when I talk to patients. And to me, improvement of symptoms does not generally equate with a reversal of disease. Believe me, if I can prove one day scientifically that we are definitively reversing disease to the point where the person's then never going to develop dementia, amazing. I will shout it from the rooftops. But to me, I don't have scientific evidence to support that just yet.